My name is Tiffany Whitlow, and I am the co-founder and chief development officer at Acclinate. I am also the visionary of our now included community. Acclinate is a biotech company located here in Huntsville, Alabama, with a headquarters in Birmingham, Alabama. And we are working to ensure that there is diversity in clinical trials. Well, no day is the same because this is an uphill battle. And so people don't understand that when drugs are developed, like this albuterol here, this was developed through a process called clinical trials. In order to ensure that this works the same in me and maybe a white counterpart or my Asian friend, I need to make sure that there are enough people and a diverse representation in that research. And so that is really what we do. We meet people right where they are through our now included brand. We get to work with Johnson & Johnson. We have a location at J Labs in DC, and they're interested in getting feedback on Neutrogena and Clean and & Clear and Band-Aids and Listerine. So who knew that these products that we use every single day were also developed through a process and we need to make sure that people are engaged and included as that is being developed. Researchers are scientists and they really maybe, some people maybe thought it was really cool and they were interested in their science experiments, but you can turn that into something that can help your mom or your dad with an illness. So if you have somebody that's suffering of a heart disease or diabetes, that drug that they're taking to help them with that disease state is developed by a scientist, by a researcher. You can be in the STEM field and not be a researcher. So if you failed that math test, if you're not necessarily good at that science experiment, you can still help those researchers. They need people who understand people and the lived experiences that we all go through. So it's really cool to think back of me as a middle schooler and what I didn't know at that time, that I could go into Walmart and get a pack of Band-Aids but somebody had to figure out how that Band-Aid was gonna go on your skin, how long it was gonna to stick to your skin, whether or not it was gonna come off with water. That, that's developed through a process and we get to be a part of that process. We get to support the tremendous research that's going on at Hudson Alpha, at UAB. We work with UAB a lot. We support the Alabama Department of Public Health. It's really cool to think that somebody who grew up in small town Alabama can solve big world problems and we do have a lot more life and world outside of our small community. I never knew that was possible, but now it is.